hello everyone and welcome back to stylish niger youtube channel i want to say thank you to all of my subscribers thank you guys for subscribing to my channel thank you for your love for your support i appreciate each and every one of you that have supported me I actually don't take it for granted thank you so 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 much if you are new you're welcome if you have not subscribed please i would appreciate if you hit on the subscribe button it actually takes nothing for you to subscribe to my channel already please subscribe i would appreciate if you would do that seriously subscribe to my channel and then if you want to register for my online classes which i normally run every month you can just see my number scrolling through the screen send me a message on whatsapp i'll give you the details of the classes we have available you can follow me on all of my social media platforms facebook pinterest instagram all at stylish ninja okay so in today's video this is actually a subscriber's request someone actually sent this uh, picture during our live stream that we did earlier of the sea cut yoke so i decided to just show how to cut it it is a simple it looks technical but it is a very simple there's actually a, a simple way easier way rather to go about it so that's why i decided to show her and others that it will be helpful how to do this so guys let's just get started straight into the tutorial okay guys so in today's video you can see we're going to be doing the stitching of the video this is the stitching part this is how it came out and it came out really fine so just watch it and see what i did and if you find it helpful please subscribe like share thank you okay so from our previous class so these are all of my patterns so i've transferred them into my fabric so this is the c yoke this is the front one and then this is the back one so like i said the only difference between the front and the back is the zipper allowance so the back has a zip allowance okay and then this is the center front and the side of the front and then this is the back pattern so now go back to our machine and go and stitch so i'll just show you how to stitch it it is a simple process it, this is a bustier but because i'm using it um this is a tutorial i'm not i'm just showing i'm not going to part the bustier so i'll just take this back to my machine and then i would couple couple this so let's just go and start doing that okay so guys the first thing i'm going to start with i'm going to join my both here together so i have two pieces here the lining and the fabric so i'll turn sew them together and then the back pattern i'll add my that to it so i'll do that and then for the yoke so for the yoke what i'm going to do to the yoke i'm going to sew and turn the yoke so this is the front yoke i'll place them together right side facing right side and then I will sew all around. Okay, that's the wrong side. I will sew on the neckline point like this, and then I will leave the shoulder. I will not join the shoulder, and then I will join the sides like this to the down part. So I'll do the same thing both the front and the back. So I'll finish that and then come back and iron it out, and then come back and show you as we continue. Okay, so after sewing, I'm going to turn, I'll turn it out nicely and then I will go and iron all of my pieces together and then I'll bring it back and show you guys. Okay, so I have finished stitching and turning all of my pieces, so I'm going to explain now. So this is the front pieces. So you see after sewing and turn, you sew your bustier and then you turn it and then this is the center front. So this is how you are going to place it. You will make sure that your dart lines, like aligns on your dart lines, because you are going to give it a, a good top stitch, like this. Let's take this back now to my machine, and then I'll give it a clean stitch using a matching thread to do that. But for the sake of this tutorial, I'm not going to use a matching thread. I'll use a colored thread so you'll be able to see how tiny the stitch is going to be so this is for the front so you can see how it's going to be looking at the end of the day so you can see and then this is for the back piece so for the back piece because of the zip allowance it is divided into two also so you place this so i'm going to open up my zip allowance now and then this goes into my zip allowance part and then this one also goes into my zip allowance part and then i'm just going to come and then give it a clean stitch here down also 
after doing that i'll do that and then bring it back and show you how it looks like okay so you place it like this so you can see how close i'm placing it and then you just use your hands to open it up make sure that it is sitting on the dark line so you can see my thread i decided to use the color thread for the top so you can see how you go about the stitching so make sure you just open it up and then give it a clean stitch as you stitch make sure that you are stitching on the edge of the yoke as close as possible making use of the very matching thread so it will not show just imagine if i'm using black for this you will not even notice it okay so after stitching i'll do the same thing to the other side and then i'll come back and show you both the back and the front okay so this is the back piece i finished joining it so this is the the front side i've done that so this is the inside of the back so you can see the back that i use the same color of thread you see you barely notice notice the stitch so the next thing you are going to do you are going to bring them together like this you place the back and the front together and then the shoulder on the shoulder line you are going to join the shoulder you understand just join the shoulder like this and then use your measurement for your, your dress to stitch the side so that's all about this so i'll just do that and then i'll place it on the mannequin for us to see how it looks like on the mannequin Okay guys, so at the end of the day, you can see how our c cut yoke looks like. You can see it came out really fine and beautiful. So thank you so much. If you find this video helpful, please hit on the like button. And if you have not subscribed already, I would appreciate if you hit on the subscribe button. Thank you so much, guys. I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye.